Hi everyone and welcome to Thanksgiving at Naland. For those of you who don't know me, I am Philip. I live in France, in the chateau, in Chateau de Naland. I'm Dutch and I'll be celebrating Thanksgiving this year. I'll also be laying the table for Thanksgiving. Now that might be a bit strange for some of you because in the Netherlands we don't celebrate Thanksgiving and neither do we in France. However, there's lots of us in the chateau, lots of different nationalities, and I was introduced to Thanksgiving. I think it's a really nice holiday with giving thanks. I also love autumn. It's my favorite season, and those are also my favorite colors, the autumnal colors, as you might be able to tell from what I'm wearing. <laughs> so I can't wait to start laying the table, and today I'll be doing that in this room. Now, this chateau is 16th century, or possibly even older than that. But this room was done in the 19th century, in the mid 19th century to be exact, after a fire. This room was designed as the dining room for the chateau. Now we use it as an entrance hall, as you kind of can see behind me. Uh, but today I'll be turning it back into the dining room because there's going to be a large number of us for Thanksgiving. Also, I'm quite excited to see the orange pops of color against this wallpaper. I'm going to show you how to lay a beautiful table on a budget because most of these items I'll be using today came from either a brocante, a charity shop or a factory shop. So you don't need to spend a fortune to lay a table that's fit for a chateau. But first, we're gonna have to turn this room back into a dining room. The napkin is going to be like this, and I'm going to quickly show you how I do this. So, to achieve that look, we take a napkin, it's been folded in fours, uh, this makes your life a whole lot easier, because if you then open it back up, you place your fingers, these two fingers, like your pledging legions or whatever, um, these two fingers, you take them like that, so you can behind that, above where the point is, slightly above, because that will make the napkin look fuller, and then you take your napkin ring, and you just stick it through there. As you're doing it, you're putting this back towards the back. And that way, it looks nice from the front. Ta-da! got something really exciting to show you. So I bought lots of these little mini pumpkins to make me into little tea lights. And Audric has been helping me. He's cut a hole like that. And then when you take out all the flesh, you get left with this. And it's the perfect size for a little tea light. It's really pretty. Even though there are so many little pumpkins with the tea lights, I am gonna use these. There's two of them, and Nettie and I bought them at MOU, so the charity shop for, I can't remember the exact price, but definitely under 10 euros. I'm thinking it was around five. So yeah, not expensive and they look great. We use them all the time. Oh, I like it. Thank you. Oh, I forgot that we bought the champagne coupes in this. I remembered. That makes me really happy. You like it? Yeah. Good. I like it a lot. It's beautiful. Whenever I have got candles I have to put in and it doesn't exactly fit or like they move a little bit like this one. And what most people do is that they melt the base and then stick it in. But that means that this just gets filled and filled with wax and you have to take it out and clean it and it's, it's a real nightmare. So what my grandmother used to do is she would take a little bit of a kitchen towel, like a paper kitchen towel, and wrap it around the end and then stick it in, which works. However, if you've got a dinner party or something like that, and you're not really watching the candlesticks, then they might catch on fire if the thing gets too low. So what I do is I take a little bit of aluminum foil, aluminum foil, however you want to say it, a thin long strip, and I wrap it around like that. And I crunch it up a little bit, like that. And then just start sticking it in. Like this. It's easier when it's on a table, uh, like this. So you can, uh, pressing this down, make sure that's nice and firm. And then with your 
finger, you can just press all of that down. And this is ideal because this one doesn't move, as you can see. And there's also no waste with the candles themselves because you can have them burn up completely and still easily take everything out because it's in foil. I really wanted to show you this. So a lady sent us these beautiful place cards. They're all hand painted. The reason why I'm putting them backwards, because usually you have the name right here, is because we've got the little squirrel place card holders. I didn't want to put the name over the beautiful drawing and this way the person sitting opposite from them can actually see the little painting. I think we're done. I think it looks really good and I'm really happy with it. Let me show you some close-ups. All the linens came from the charity shop. Stephanie's was a set for 12, so I used one of hers. It was about six euros, maybe eight, if she splurged. A dinner service that my grandfather bought me when I was about 12 at a Pocant. It was incomplete, but I've been completing it over the years. The original incomplete service he paid about 10 euros for, and the rest of the service is very inexpensive as well. A silver-plated cutlery set that we recently bought at a Pocant. The original box was 40 euros, and for the rest we paid, I think, 20. Now the glasses were bought at a factory shop and they were on sale. I think we paid about six euros per glass. The scroll place card holders came from the supermarket, from Sainsbury's, and they were on sale. I can't quite remember exactly how expensive they were, but inexpensive enough for me to be able to afford to buy 12 of them. <laughs> from the supermarket, I also bought lots of pumpkins as decoration, and I'm really excited to see everything come together. So, what do you think of the table? I'm beyond happy with it. I think it's so beautiful. I love the fact that it all came from Pocans or from charity shops, factory shops, etc. Like I mentioned before, this is my first video. I am going to be doing regular videos in the future. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up so that YouTube knows and that's good for the algorithm. Um, and if you want to see more videos, then please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So there's a notification bell next to the subscribe button and if you click that, you'll be notified as soon as I upload. I've got so many ideas for future videos, but if there's something specific that you'd like me to do a video on, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear feedback in general from you all, because this is new to me too. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving and until next time.